Hello, and this one will configure like DM. Now, this may not look amazing, but this took way too long that I'd like to admit, and I'll show you what happened. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe, leave a like on the video, and do check out all the socials, check out all the shop, all that YouTube shenanigans that you have to do. And let's get straight into it. Uh, let me just log in real quick. Now, again, like I said, this may not be the most prettiest theme you can ever see. Also, uh, this is the config that I have been working on. So, this will be out in a few days, I think. Uh, it did take a bit. I gave myself two hours to configure XFC and yeah it's not much but i got something anyway uh, to get started with light dm uh if you are if you have already installed it and if you haven't uh let me just go from the top so first you go with sudo pacman obviously syu make sure to keep everything updated in so uh, no packages break and there you go we have a small upgrade and yeah it's a really small update so i won't restart for it but yeah make sure to restart if you have a larger update so everything stays clean so now there are a few packages that you have to install so first let's go here and then and here are the packages. The first one is obviously Light DM. Uh, you can get GTK Greeter directly, or you can just get GTK Greeter. But I would recommend just getting GTK Greeter, as I think uh, since it depends on everything else, it will install everything. But just to be sure, we can do Light DM, uh, this one right here, Light DM GTK Greeter, and then obviously Light DM itself. Now I think uh, I caught this a bit backwards, but you get the idea. These are all the packages that you need. So let's get it installed. And now again, like I said, I already have them installed and configured but i'm just showing you how it's done so there you go so now the first step is like i said if you haven't ins installed or set up light dm yet then you have to do sudo systemctl start light dm dot service so in case you are still in the setup phase and that's just now we'll just enable it immediately if you have done your setup and you are in a terminal based system anyway that's how you get system light dm to work now what's the next step so if you are on a vm and you are struggling to with the resolution and how you can set the resolution of a light dm itself you have to make a script for it so first let me show you what i mean so make sure to install uh xor x rand so this is the, this is a render for you know, make it bigger why not there you go like it's a bit bigger now so as you see so you need this package right here it says x render and after you have that package you need to make a script file so what's the in the script? so let me just obviously have sudo and then any text editor of your choice so if you want to nano nvim vim even mousepad or it if you want like gui whatever it is just make sure to get a text editor and then we have to go to uh, we can put the this right here so we can put the script in user share light dm so if you don't have this directory make sure to create it and i just named it lds dot sh basically light dm display setup dot sh let me just first show you what is inside of this um you know what i'll just do no i'll get into nvim and in as you can see it's a really small script what it's doing is basically you need this to run it before anything loads up and then the x render dash s dash s basically specify the size that you want to run it and this is just the resolution of what you want it if you have a 4k monitor it will be different from what i have but whatever your resolution is that you want to run it at you just specify it in here and this is an x you don't have to search for symbols that is the literally an x in there so after you are done that make sure to save it oh my god there you go save this uh, to create that light dm directory you can use sudo mkdir and this right here so you can create it with this and it will just create the directory now with all that out of the way now we have we can get into some actual stuff is to set this script to run as soon as um light dm boots up and remember we have the gtk setting now we specify all that in the file called sudo and like i said make sure to type in sudo and this will be in xc and we can do light dm.com so make sure to edit this file right here and in here uh it may feel a bit overwhelming as there is a lot of comments in here but don't worry the scroll down or uh, search for it but there should be a line in the seed section there should be a line called gtk session this will be commented out so make sure to uh uncomment it and this will be empty make sure to put light dm gtk creator in here so there are other versions as well you can use slick and i think mini there's there's a lot you can check it um if you go to the arch wiki and just search for light dm uh, arch hence we are doing this in arch linux uh you can actually just see that there is a lot we are using this one there is like pantheon there's slick for linux main there's like mini greeter nudie greeter. there's a lot for the light dm so make sure to have this line you can just put it in the bottom as well it's actually fine like it's this all of these are commented out so you don't have to worry about it conflicting anyway make sure this line you write this line now in case you're searching for it if you're using vim new vim or anything for vim or near vim you can just type in slash and then search for 
or a greeter and you can see this highlights it so make sure to search for that anyway please and now remember the script that you just wrote you can put it right here and there will be another line that will say display setup script because again this will also be blank and you have to put the script in here so you can actually like i said just put both of these in the bottom of the file or you can just uh, remove comments and just put these two in here it will be absolutely fine but after you have put this in here we have to actually configure the light dm gtk greeter so to configure it uh, we can do let's go in here and uh, remember this file right here this light dm gtk greeter dot config now this is the file that we need and now use me have a lot of things but for me i have cleaned it out a bit so if i go in here there we go as you can see this is all we're interested in and if you like you can actually just put this in here now a few quick notes you can see this theme name right here that i just wrote cat in dark now where is this coming from uh let me just open out a new tab so this is actually coming from let me show you sudo uh, slash user slash share slash themes so your theme or gtk theme should be available in this directory right here so if i just do ls i think i can just print it out yeah there you go so like you can see if there is cat in dark cat in hdp light and uh, in case you are wondering how you can get this theme right here i'll show it to you i'll show it to you obviously so uh, if we can just go to uh, your browser and then if i just search for cat uh yeah i just search for you can do cat light dm it's fine uh, i would say just search for cat gtk theme so there you go and this right here you have to get in here and you can just clone it from here you can just do let me just see if i can do it so get clone uh i can do control r i think yeah so in here which is it in case you didn't you can actually press ctrl r to search through your uh, previous command ah there you go uh this one right here oh no this is the for the wallpapers and stuff config yeah no i don't i don't have it anyway uh, it's pretty simple you can just do git clone and then if i just uh, copy this paste it in here and if you just do this it will just burn in there but i don't like i said i don't do it ah uh, oh no my bad i i installed this one i think yeah, yeah i installed this one yeah it, this is a bit more refined and it does have an install script so that's a bit nicer and it, like i said it's a bit cleaner so yeah so i can i can just like i said copy this um you can do git clone I'm sure we, there you go now you can get this theme like i said and i think i do have this yeah uh if i do ls uh yeah i do have this right, there you go but uh this, there's a reason why i'm showing you this just hold on a bit uh if i do clear ls and then cd themes now you can see there is an install script here and if you are like i said willing if you're thinking about using light dm themes and i would recommend uh, it's not a recommendation it actually needs to have sudo permission or the root must be the owner so what you need is uh, just quickly do a cat install dot sa just to see what where it is installing it now it should be available in case you don't understand any of this it's like i said absolutely fine but there is a line you know what uh, i'll just use and for this uh you can see that this in here it says user share theme so we want it to uh, install here now you can see that this is basically saying that if you it has root permissions so root uid then it will install it here and if it doesn't have root it will just install it in your home directory now your home won't work for light dm if you are willing to use rgtk theme it won't work so i would recommend just do sudo install script like if it does not permit you to do sudo like it says that you don't need to run it as sudo then yeah don't do it but if you do install or let's say what this will do is actually install it in the that directory that i just said so once you have done that so let me see if i can do it again yeah uh, like i said it, it's already done so anyway after doing that if you just check let's do ls user share theme make sure it's available here and if it is available here just copy the name of the folder because that is basically the theme name so for example um if i just show you this as you can see it says cat in dark and that is exactly the name that is written here cat in dark and you can like i said easily change it just by putting something in it. let's just say i want a like ad water uh, this one add water so yeah i can simply just change this to and oh, it, uh, i think did i spell it right yeah i can just copy this and then do the control shift c and then i'll just paste it here control shift v so if i after doing that if you just save it now uh if i just log out just to show you you'll notice that this looks a bit different yes so that is basically trying to use the error dart now if you are having troubles that is the whole reason why i told you to install that gtk settings thing so if i open up your like whatever you used 
to open a file. So if I just go here and then search for like DMGTK user settings, so this right here, click on this, it will ask for your password. And this is where you can actually just literally just set it and see the cat pudding dog is available here. So I can just click on this, it will just switch it back to that. And we can also have like icons, like for the icons and stuff. Like I said, when you are installing it, make sure to use sudo for it. Now that's that. So if I just press save here and then if I just do I DMGT you just do not know this cancel I have to log out and see it just went back so if I go in here again now in here you can see this image right here it allows you to add images now this is a bit tricky here's why it's tricky so if you go in here you'll notice that uh if you go to home it doesn't show anything if you go to desktop it doesn't show anything now, I don't know if it's just for me or it is if it's a bug or something but if I go to other locations it does show you your whole route and make sure to have whatever like you want to like I said as a background in the root directory or anywhere in the root directory like if you put anything in your home directory it will automatically like if, like I said if I just select this you'll notice that there is an exclamation point right here that says Lightium does not have permission to read the path so it cannot read anything in your home directory it has to be in your root directory so just select that image and there you go it will set that now in case you don't know how to get things in your root directory uh, you know what let me just uh, quickly show you how you can actually just copy stuff over to root directory first let me just make a wallpaper directory sudo mkdir now let's just go like that sorry space slash wallpaper there you go now this will be in the root directory there we go now if i just do ls root you can see it has the directory called wallpaper and to copy stuff over there now i have an entire directory full of wallpapers let me just show it to you now if i open this if i go to wallpaper where is it wallpapers cat pushing there you go i have entire directory full of the, this type of wallpapers and let's just say you know what i'll just copy the whole thing why not to do that we can do sudo cp and then dash r what dash r does is basically this recursively copies everything that you want to annul the v for verbose so we can see what to get copied now here's the fun part if you do this and then let's say wallpapers walls if you don't like put it like this or some even like this sometimes it could like just copy the whole folder but what i like to do is just put it just star in there so it just copies everything so as you can see it says file or directory but as soon as you put a star in there it says globe files so basically everything that is inside of this directory will be copied and we want to copy it to wallpapers and this won't copy the folder it will just only copy the contents of the folders so if i just do this you can see everything got copied over so let me just close this and reopen it so once it is copied over you can actually just click here and then let's just say go here and then let's select something let's just say asian village you can see the error isn't there anymore uh let's just say this one clearing image i like this one so i'll select that where is it ah, there you go clearing the png and as you see there is no errors here and same with the user image like you have to have it in the root directory or anywhere anywhere in the root directory where the root is the like has the permissions and everything so if i just close this and then if we just log out you can see that's the image that is set so that's it for your manual configuration now if you want to use someone else this configuration and now there are like packages from yay that you can use you can use yay dash s and then if you just search for like the um, theme you'll see that there is ne neon and stuff and to be honest uh i do think a uh, light name is a bit like when it comes to pre-configured themes it is a bit broken like for example light dm um if i just search for light dm themes you'll find themes but it's, you'll see that it's pretty limited on what people did with it and most of them do it with webkit 2 and uh, for webkit 2 is basically just a css html stuff so you can configure it on your own and if we get into that it will be like a really long video and so that's why i'm just showing you the easy way out of it and that's what the, this whole channel is about but in case you are using the webkit 2 uh to be honest it's this one the glorious did work for me like i can't could i did get it to work but the thing is if i press enter it doesn't automatically get to this menu so i was like you know what it's way too much trouble than it works so yeah i I might as well just configure uh, keep it simple you know light dim is all about keeping it simple so i kept it simple but in case any of you are interested in using webkit uh you can like i said it's the same process you can do pacman uh dash s and then let's make sure if you do light dim gtk creator uh, let's do this one webkit 2 and install it after you have installed it i uh, remember the file that we uh nvim like this right here there should be an extra one that says webkit and in the config like you know what just let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover this and like, like i said like
like there's literally it just tells you how to configure it in here i'm not covering it because it, it can be a bit buggy so i'm i'm just like you know what uh, until i can find something that is absolutely stable and it does work i would recommend just kind of keep it simple keep it minimal and play around with it to be honest play around with it and see where you can take it and like i said if you like went full manual on this if you went configure everything by hand you could achieve a lot like there's like panel you can have clock formats and stuff you can add stuff in here you know like there's a lot that you can add and slow stuff here but like i said that's beyond the scope of this one i just wanted to show you guys like how you kind of you get started with configuring your light dm and that's about it for this video to be honest and if you're excited to see uh, how i can make this then subscribe to the channel leave a like and make sure to check out the shop or if you want anything or if you don't and support me on my patreon so i can keep these videos coming and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye